um, 66 Grove Lane. Um, we bought this, um, lo looking to do an HMO, um, and then we had a, a, a investor um, who, who, who worked away actually, um, and wanted another HMO in his portfolio, so we thought about doing it as a turnkey. So we would pretty much get it up to tenant stage, and then we'd pass it to the letting agent, and then they would um, advertise it for the tenants. And we agreed a price at the start um, before any work takes place. This was all verbally done. So this is a lesson that, le lesson that we learned is we need to be at, um, it needs to be written down. So that never never happened. We ended up taking this on ourselves and um, doing our first HMO, which is um, is written out today. Um, and I'll just show you what we've done with this one. So this is the communal area, and this was a, um, a, a, a small room. So this, we turned this into a shower room, and then put a stud wall here to have a downstairs toilet um, and a sink. Um, we knocked this wall down at the back and opened that up to have a big kitchen area there. This was the communal space. Um, one of the bedrooms here, one of the bedrooms there, bedroom there, bedroom there, bedroom there, and a shared bathroom there. Fully licensed, five bed HM only. Correct. So um, we, we learned loads on this one, purely through um, obviously the, um, the licensing, the guidelines, what we need to do, i.e. hardwired smoke alarms, uh, fire doors, thumb locks front and back, um, in case there's a fire they can get, um, they can get out. Um, yeah, pretty much everything. Probably. Everything. But we learned so much on this one, and this one, to be honest, cash flows, cash flows really nicely. <coughs> We started on 66 Grove Lane, and then we next purchased um, our next property, which was 8 Seymour Road. We took all our focus from Grove Lane to Seymour Road, because this one was, um, our builder was living um, in another, uh, another house and needed a new place to live. So he said, could I take this off your hands? I, be, uh, I do all the work, and then can I move in and rent it off you? So we said, yeah, that, that's fine. So that's why our... <coughs> Our focus went from um, Grove Lane to here. So this was a two bed um, mid terrace and we moved the bathroom from upstairs back downstairs to the back behind the kitchen and they obviously took the bathroom away and that, that moved into a third bedroom. So August 18, this month was a massive milestone. Can anyone guess why? First year anniversary. Close. <laughs> Financially free. No. I'll tell you. So, 65 Henneke Road, 66 Grove Lane, and 8 Seymour Road. One of our yearly goals was to complete three properties in year in one year, um, and we actually done that on the 12th month of the night. Yep. Um, so that was a massive, a massive, massive celebration for us. <laughs> Yeah, we did celebrate. We decided to um, try to withdraw as much uh, twenty pound notes from um, Houston's wallet. <laughs> <laughs> weekly goals, monthly goals, you just got to make sure that you hit them, they've got to be realistic, they've got to be realistic targets, um, and like I say, like we would have hit from three properties in 12 months if we didn't have goals, I honestly do believe that. So, <clears throat> 8 Seymour Road uh, was being completed and then our builder moved in, so these are just before and after photos, quickly switch through these for you, again using an LNPG account. Where we put the, um, you can see where there's a wall we used to be down here, um, and that, that was for the tumble dryer and washing machine, had their own separate room for some reason, at the back of the kitchen with a tiny, tiny toilet. This brickwork was so bad that you could literally see through it, so that had to be uh, repointed and a few layers of bricks, 
uh, and then obviously it's going to be a bedroom, uh, bedroom it's going to be a bathroom. So where the window was there, that had to be bricked up, um, and then a new window um, being replaced. Did you sign the budget? Eight Seymour Road, we did. Yeah, yeah eight Seymour yeah. Road, we did. Yeah, uh, sixty-six Grove Lane. We were under budget. Now. We were under budget, okay. and we went over budget slightly on Richmond Road. On Richmond Road, yeah, which we'll come to in a second. But not massively. Um, Right, so going back to 66 Grove Lane then quickly. Yeah, so the focus was on 8 Seymour Road. That got fully tenanted. Uh, well, not fully tenanted. The, the, our builder moved into that. And then mm -hmm. folks went back on 66 Grove Lane and we went live on all platforms leading up to Christmas time. Uh, not the perfect time, but when is? We actually, um, the smallest bedroom in the house went first. went first, which we were quite surprised about. On Boxing Day? On, yeah, on Boxing Day, yeah. And then the last, um, the last room which went was the one on the front of the property, um, overlooking the road at the front. Um, so, yeah, you just never, you just never know, really. Because it goes goes by the same thing. You just don't know who's looking. Exactly. But yeah, these are the uh, the finished photos of um, 66 Grove Lane, the, uh, <coughs> the kitchen, and uh, downstairs. Uh, that's the bathroom upstairs, hallway. Uh, communal area um, and one of the bedrooms. Mm -hmm. A lot of the bedroom stuff we uh, we sourced from IKEA wardrobes, chest of drawers, um, and bedside cabinet. Um, Colour and scheme. I actually done a lot of Pinterest to be honest um, in that respect. Um, just looking at what other people do, and uh, I think I followed a couple of people who had done some stuff up north using the mustard, and I, I really liked it. So I think we got the yeah the bed the bed uh, the base, the drawers in the base, the, the headboard and the memory foam mattress online as well, and then all the furnishings from B&M, Dunelm, the range. Literally, me and Laura went up with two trolley loads and just pretty much had a, a day just full of furnishing all the stuff in that house. <coughs> so down to the figures on this one. I felt like I'd want to give a case study over, over three properties, one that we've, that we've rent out a single let. Um, an HMO and one that we buy, renovate, and sell. So this is uh, 66 Grove Lane. So we purchased this for 178,500. Um, total investment was 45,500. Let's get my figures there. Let me see it here. Um, renovation cost was 38,000. Total cost was 84,266 pounds. Um, the rent rental income we receive off that one. Uh, it's 2,470. Um, these are obviously all our expenses. So profit before tax on that is uh, 1,400 pounds. So that gives us an ROI of 20.29%. Of um, we haven't refinanced that yet, or, or, or um, we haven't done anything with it to be honest. So I thought I'd just put the figures on there regarding regarding this. So if we remortgage that at 240,000, because I've done three comparables <coughs> in that area. You can obviously see the difference um, in ROI and, and profit as well. So as you can see, the profit on, on this one, um, on, on what we bought it for, is 1,400. If we, we refinance it for 240,000, the profit on that would be 1,200, but you can see how the ROI almost, well, over doubles. So you can see why um, people love HMOs and they cash flow brilliantly. So moving on to number two pro um, houses that we uh, that we bought number 85 Richmond Road and then number 20 Upton Close. Uh, this one, let me say, uh, John, we did go over budget on on this, and I'll tell you the reason why. Um, this had its challenges. 85 Richmond Road definitely had its challenges. I thought we were going to be in, get a building team in, and get out quite quickly. Shove the uh, bedroom from bathroom. <clears throat> from upstairs, it's very similar to Seymour Road, uh, back down to the back of the kitchen. Simple, just knock through happy days. But when we did knock through, um, the brick wall was single skin and it nearly near enough fell over. Um, so yeah, it was all up with timber construction, all was uh, rotten, etc. So uh, and obviously we didn't, we didn't, we didn't know. Got building control involved, and then we managed to go 
about a foot and a half wider. Yes. Basically, we just create a bit a bigger space, and we thought that would be the best option would be just basically to start start from scratch. So dig new ferns, um, and then we went with a timber construction on that one, didn't we? Oh, cool. um, and then saw saw the tenants moved in. We actually had the tenants moved in when the cleaners were there cleaning um, because we done a we done a kind of a, a good gesture. She had um, CCJs um, and a, and a, quite a, a past, but um, now actually she's one of our one of our top investors within the company. So we've had uh, certain contracts draw up to make sure that obviously everyone is protected. <coughs> so <coughs> we like to do before and after photos, but these are not really the after photos because they've already moved their furniture in, that's how keen they were. Um, but you know, it worked for them, it worked for us, as I like say, you hear it every day, but it's, it's all about creating that win-win situation. They were happy, you know, we were happy, they were getting a, a, literally a brand spanking new house, everything was been done to that. Um, and just brushing on a couple of things, do you use LVT flooring? Does anyone use LVT, luxury vinyl tile flooring? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's brilliant. Um, and the classic example was in my house, what we did, is I went for a quite exp expensive um, laminate flooring, tucked it underneath the skirting boards, and then my washing machine broke. So the whole floor had to be lifted up, skirting boards went off the wall, cracked the plaster, etc., etc. With this LVT flooring, if it's scratched, you just literally heat it up a plank, lift it up and put another one down. I really do recommend that. Um, uh, whether you've got it in your own house, haven't you? I've got it in my own personal house. Um, we use a guy called Lorik from Ipswich Floor Fitting. So if you want any people's numbers, um, we're pretty much, we are really down to work people. So if you want any contacts, just come up and um, well, if you want to come and see it, come, you can always come to my house in Eden Market if you don't want to see it. So. Yeah. So yeah, we, that's one thing that we have done. Um, and we do it in our rentals because obviously it's very, very, very hard wearing. And we do it in the, the properties that we do sell as well. <laughs>